What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and we're just gonna have a simple rank match video today. And I'm gonna play with my Lionar deck because we played Vanar in the last duelist rank match video. So we're going second, and I'll get rid of Divine Bond and a Saber's Mind Tiger. Um, now I have options. I can play both the Azerite Lion and Healing Mystic on the first turn, or I can play just the Silver Guard Knight. Tough choice there because you, the two two drops sounds uh, like the most potent play, but the Healing Mystic ends up just being a two three, and you can't take advantage of her pretty good open gambit ability. So hopefully uh, this works out well for us. And in case um, Skim Boost plays something uh, that we want to take care of with a Saber Spine Tiger on the first turn, we have that in our hand as well. And Tempest is always good, but Kara, I have to watch out because those minions get big when they sit in his hand. Um, so I might be able to win by rushing him. Not sure how this is going to work out. Not sure what it's taking uh, SCM Boost so long here. Okay. Good luck, have fun, sir. And... He does get a 2 drop to play. I'm gonna get rid of the Tempest now. Actually, I'll hold on to the Tempest. I'm gonna get rid of the Saber Spine Tiger. And just play the Silver Guard Knight here. So that's going to be able to block his Crystal Cloaker from getting Infiltrate this turn. As the board stands right now. Next turn, if I manage to walk on a Mana Spring, I would get to play a 5 drop. Unfortunately, I don't have a Holy Immolation in my hand. I'd love to have that. Cryogenesis. It's going to be able to destroy things, and ouch. Not such a gr great start for me, really. Um, I think I'm going to gear up, I think I'm going to gear up to the Tempest. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the Azurite Lion. Try to move up here. I will deal some damage there. Heal myself up. Actually, not gearing for the tempest. This is a fine play. And use a saber spine to trade with his two drop. Yeah, not bad. At least this way, um, if he wants to attack me with his crystal cloaker, he won't have infiltrate. And now, um, now starts the buffing the units with Kinetic Surge. Always scary. Primus Shieldmaster. So he actually waits a turn to buff. Because he wants to play a 4 drop this turn. I do have a, uh, Tempest in my hand. To, I actually have Arclet Regalia in my hand. Which would let me destroy this this turn, but it seems like a lot just to destroy that. Uh, if I play Roar on it, I think we might be uh, have to get ready for a Tempest next turn. I think that's most likely what's going to happen. So I'll play Roar, destroy that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a. It's gonna be a ballsy play. I'm gonna go right now, but I'm not gonna deal with his creatures. I am just not going to deal with them. Instead, I'm just gonna play an Iron Cliff Guardian. Down here, and. 
I'll put some damage on him. Yeah. So I'm really just going to hold off on try to play the Tempest next turn. Aspect of the Fox. Cryogenesis. Come on, I wanted to fill the board. Kinetic Surge. Hurts. Okay, well, we can finally get a good Tempest off. So let's do that. Tempest. As well as I can play Sworn Sister Lakian now and fill up my hand. Is that the right play? Yeah, probably. And let's go on his side so he doesn't get infiltrate. Or odds on the uh, evens on the left, odds on the right. So actually, I'll play the Silver Guard Knight this turn and give it the roar because I'm not gonna have the roar. And I'm actually going to go for face damage. I know from uh, playing Kara with experience that bad things can happen in a jiffy. Divine Bond, okay. So let's hope he doesn't have another, uh, another aspect of the fox or chromatic cold would also counter that very well my big 5-5 five five provoke right now or light bender a lot of things can uh, go wrong this turn for me but then again things can go right and I can get a win next turn if uh, if I'm able to attack him with both my creatures as they stand with just a simple divine bond but what does he have? Let's just hope it doesn't get dispelled. Sojourner. Okay, that actually means I can't win this coming turn. Unless I had a Tempest in my hand. If I had a Tempest in my hand, I could win the game. I don't, though. That's the only issue. Um, I'll go ahead and I think I'll play the Iron Cliff Guardian here. Yeah, I'll play the Iron Cliff Guardian. I'm going to tempt fate and already play the Divine Bond on it. That's pretty ballsy, but I'm going to do it. Let's play it. Play Divine Bond. And uh, hold on to that card in my hand to fill up my hand. And we got to take down these provoke walls. Okay, so there's multiple things on the board right now that my opponent has to figure out how I can dispel and or turn into Ravager Foxes. And knowing that he didn't do that to my Silver Guard Knight last turn tells me that he doesn't have anything to do with me this turn. Okay, well, I mean, he probably maybe just did that to draw a card because he can't do anything else. And he's looking for something to survive. But I think I pretty well trapped him. There's sometimes where the surprise factor of the Divine Bond is not what you want. You just want to put it down right away. Maybe uh, Spirit of the Wild now? Yeah, that's... You know, that's doing a lot just to destroy that. And is it even dead? No, it's even going to survive. That's going to be game. He could not take that down. So that's why playing that in advance rather than waiting to play it was the play there. So that was a uh, quick match, a fun one too. So let's just play again with the same deck. Worked pretty well. And um, this time uh, I'm going first. Songhai, scary, scary faction to play against. At least I think. 
Let's get rid of the arc light and the iron cliff. Actually, let's not get rid of the arc light. Let's get rid of the wind blade. Or let's get rid of the. It's tough. The yes, goodbye wind blade. Okay. So good turn one. I could have played in his right lion, and now I'll get rid of the. Um. Next turn off four mana if I can get there. And Sworn Sister would not be the play. Because I'd end up with the with too many cards in my hand. Good luck, have fun. So next turn I can get the mana spring most likely and then play my four drop deal toss or my four cost artifact Arclight Regalia. Depending on the situation, of course, and there's also a Saber Spawn Tiger I can use if he plays something far away. Lantern Fox, always a pain in the butt. And Mist Dragon Seal. That is what I didn't want to see. Because I was I was ready. I was ready to uh Darn. I was ready to destroy that uh, just with my Arclight Regali and, and just let him draw one of the uh, one of the spells, but now I can't do that. That last little spell there really hurts. I get rid of the Hollow Grove Keeper. There's not really any Provoke Song High plays. Holy Immolation. That's always a good card to have. Um, can't play it right now though. So I think this is gonna be. Simply a turn to get down a deal toss. We don't want to be in range of this thing to attack us. It's important. So I'll play this here. I'm gonna move here with my general. I'm always so scared of lantern foxes. Probably the card I hate the most in the game. And that was a good top deck right there. Uh, Sunbloom is gonna be able to dispel it, so I won't draw any Phoenix virus for him. And it will go down to being a 2-4. So, not too bad right now. Prismatic Illusionist. And is there going to be a play to play? Too bad these two are not in a 2x2 two two area. I can't dispel them both at the same time. Ah, he's going to be able to teleport that and deal some damage. That sucks. Ouch. Now I have another tough choice. Because if I dispel this, it's only gonna, I'm still I'm gonna be able to destroy this this turn now with my deal toss, so maybe I just let it happen like this. I guess. Yeah, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. And then I will play the Saber Spine to destroy that. And at this point I have to hold on to everything though. Okay, well, let's do this. Make sure I play that first. I guess it doesn't matter the order. So, do a trade there. Where's my thing spawn down there? I'll give it some extra attack. I'll definitely destroy this before he gets more things. And. I'll get rid of the Arclight Regalia. Don't think it's too good against Songhai because they have that uh, the artifact and the Fordman's Magi that can just ping my general a lot, which means artifacts just go away pretty quickly. I guess the Arclight can survive one of the pings, but multiple pings really make it go away. So even though it looks like we have a advantage here, I'm very wary against the Songhai deck, like I said multiple times already. I'm going to have 5 mana next turn, I have 2 5 drops that are very uh very effective so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna play we will see and the following turn i can follow it up with a um sun bloom and a holy emulation and one of these five drops or if i need to i can do uh, a zarite line holy emulation the following turn 
So I have a lot of a lot of uh, options here this coming turn. Hmm. This is a tough choice. Do I Iron Cliff Guardian or do I Dancing Blades? Problem is I can't reach that with my Dancing Blades, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna have to hope for a Tempest later, I guess. I could dispel it now, but do I really want to dispel it right now? Probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and really, what do I want to draw right now? I guess I should I re replace the Sun Bloom, or should I replace the Iron Cliff? I'll replace the Iron Cliff. Need the options in my hand. I'll test fate, and there's another Sun Bloom. Whatever. Well, in that case, I guess I'm just gonna destroy this with the Dancing Blades. And have more <laughs> illusions. <laughs> I'm sure uh, he's playing spell high with all the spells, so just gonna have like four or five more of these illusions after this turn ends, which I can get rid of by drawing a Tempest or maybe Holy Immolation uh, with all him doing some bad positioning. I maybe should add a third Tempest to my deck. Seems like one of those cards that like, if it's like you're playing a matchup where you need it, you just won't replace it. But if I, I, so I, I might add a third one, I'm not sure what I would take out. I think maybe one of the uh, Windblade Adepts. Okay, clearly Eldor Grey Castle. Elder Grey Castle uh, has had some bad experiences with Divine Bond on those tombstones, so he's making sure he can uh, lower its health. Phoenix Fire. I know he has another Phoenix Fire in hand besides that one. Another Phoenix Fire. Okay, well, I do have a Holy Immolation now. Now the question is, I would love to do it on this to get it to heal up, but sadly, I can't do that. Because I, I can't get this to get in this spot, oh well. So because that's the case, I have to do it this way. Don't think I need another Sun Bloom. So I will play the Azurite Lion, Holy Immolation, and I'm actually considering running away with this Tombstone. No, there's really no need for me to run away with a Tombstone actually. I'll move it here though. Yeah, it'd be silly running away with the tombstone. It's not like I'm gonna be able to heal it up that easily and then play Divine Bond on it. Okay, so that was a huge Holy Immolation play. Because I'm right back into this game, really. Four Winds Magi. Yes, they are in a 2x2. Two two. Perfect Sun Bloom. So I'll do that right away. Not even gonna replace anything. Um. I guess I probably should replace these if I had a uh, had another Holy Immolation, I'd do that instead. Now I'm gonna replace... Well, that can trade with that. Actually, this can deal destroy both of them. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get rid of the Azerite Lion then. And I did have a Holy Immolation. Whoops. Well, at least now... I can do this cool play. <laughs> I have a whole emulation for next turn. I still feel pretty ahead of this game now, though. So first, 
destroy that, and he doesn't draw a Phoenix Fire, which is good. And then destroy this. And then I have him at the bottom of the board with more health in my general, more cards in my hands, and more attack in my general. Good. And I have a Holy Immolation ready to go. One of those guys. That's pretty bad. That's all he had to play. It's too bad. I'm going to get rid of the Healing Mystic clearly here. Nothing to heal. Hopefully get a big drop. Another Arclight Regalia. I'm going to play it. Play the safe Silver Guard Knight. Give it plus one attack, plus two attack. And I'm actually going to go for face damage here. I don't feel like wasting six damage on that little thing. Or... You know what? Yeah, let's not waste six damage on that little thing. The one issue is in that little thing can uh, help uh, get rid of the arc lights by being the first bit of damage that's negated. But I do have a provoke thing for that it has to attack or my opponent has to deal with. Onyx Bear Seal. It's gonna run. Sworn Sister. And. The Holy Immolation in my hand definitely makes me feel pretty good about where I am right now. Well, you can attack, but nothing's going to happen. That was a pointless attack. Uh, I'll get rid of the healing mystic. Nice, something big. So I'll move here. Holy immolation. That's actually the win. Is it? Yeah, I had the win because I could just uh, move in with my general there, deal 6 damage, and then give plus 2 attack with my little panda for 2 attack, and they would deal 8 damage, and the general was down to 7 health after the Holy Immolation. So, that was a surrender when he was about to lose anyways. And that'll be it for today's video, just over 20 minutes. Like, I like it. So, I've been, I've been doing pretty well with, I guess, uh, this Lionheart deck. Probably it's my best of my four decks. These Lanar decks are fun to play, but I think this Lanar deck is still my best deck. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist Duelers.